Hi guys, it's Chris from the Ultimate Recycler. Today we're going to have a quick look at recycling. Just your curbside pickup uh, bins in Australia. We've got a colour code system. Uh, the red bins are general rubbish. The green bins here are green waste, uh, which is your weeds and plants and anything organic. And the yellow top bins are for the recycling system, which is your general plastic bottles, um, glass, uh, aluminium cans, steel cans, all and paper and cardboard. So we're going to look at the recycling today and I've done a bit of a, well we're about to do a bit of an audit of a local business's recycle bin. I grabbed it before it was emptied so they were unsuspecting and we're going to go through it and just see how much they got right, how much they got wrong, just on the basic stuff and we'll follow this video with another one down the track of some little bit more complicated things about can you recycle and, and can't you. So they do know now that I'm going to do this, I've got permission. Um, there won't be any incriminating evidence and names mentioned, but it'll just be a good example of, of what you can put in the bin, what's the wrong thing to put in the bin, and um, hopefully you'll learn something from it. Okay, I have a piece of fake grass rolled out as a bit of a, a mat so we can tip the recyclables out. Now, let's knock the bin over upend it and we'll see what we've got and here we have a fair pile of uh, recyclables according to the people that put them in and already I can see some major problems uh, the bin was only about half full so and it is a large size bin but this gives me a good sample to work with so rather than bore you with the sorting details I'll go through it now and sort it all out into sections and just show you what they got right and what they didn't Okay, the jury's back, and it's um, pretty well conclusive that most of this, or at least 50% of this, was wrong. Um, there's a really good example, actually. Let's start on the good side. Uh, plastic bottles are fine. Interestingly, though, Victoria is about to bring in a 10 cents deposit scheme, which most other states in Australia have. So that will come into Victoria soon. So that would represent 30 cents when you cash them in. But as far as recycle bin goes, they're perfectly fine. Newspapers are great, no worries there. Uh, cardboard, we have copy paper, typical office stuff, lots of envelopes, screwed up notes, post-it notes, some cardboard wrappers from someone's lunch. So that's all good. And the lids from the coffee cups are okay. Now, they have a symbol on them. Let's see if we can see this. I think it was number six on that one and some of them have um, that one doesn't that I could see but I believe they're um, I think number six is polystyrene but it's not your expanded foam type and I think these can be recycled in the recycle bins but the whole system is very confusing and a lot of councils uh, operate under different systems, some allow some things, it, it depends where the council actually sends their recycling and it is very confusing so uh, most of the things I've read say check with your local council but I've done that and really they don't know very much. I'm going to organise a trip myself down to the materials recycling facility and it's one of the bigger ones in Australia and hopefully I'll probably do a video on it and hopefully that can clear up some of the things but as far as general recycling stuff goes in your local curbside pickup bins paper cardboard bottles newspaper the tops off coffee cups they all should be fine now the kleenex box or the tissue box because kleenex is a brand the tissue box is cardboard which is fine uh, i did read somewhere that you can put them in just like that but um Somewhere else also said that you should remove the plastic film. Uh, probably best to do that, I think. Uh, now, all this side is wrong. Now, the biggest thing here is that people get wrong. Uh, we'll start at the front. Soft plastics, definitely no good in the recycle bins. They tangle around the sorting machines. Um, it is recyclable plastic, but you can't put it through the normal curbside bins. And there's a company in Australia called Red Cycle operates out of most supermarkets or certainly Coles anyway I take mine to and uh, so it's easy to bag that up and keep it out of the system uh, the coffee cups and another big one that most people or a lot of people get wrong 
they can't be recycled because they have a plastic film lining them to basically keep them waterproof otherwise they'd go soggy as you're driving away from the, the takeaway shop and you'd have hot coffee in your lap so you cannot put them in the recycle bin I've done a test and I'll be doing a more comprehensive test on putting those in my worm farm because it really does show the plastic liner inside um, but at this stage they do need to go in the uh, general waste bin which is a real shame so avoid using them if you can uh, the biggest mistake in this bin was these two bags tied up plastic bags full of possibly recycling I don't know I will open them in a tick but in the sorting system they will be automatically discarded straight to the general waste straight to landfill so that's a big percentage of the bulk out of this bin would not go through recycling no matter how dedicated you were in getting the, right, the contents right if you bag them up and tie them they won't go into the recycling system so do not bag up your recyclables uh, the other thing here we had some wrappings from the copy paper now it has a plastic film it's a really noticeable plastic film uh, I would need to do some more checking on those because um, I don't think they can certainly can't be recycled with paper it just says locally or check locally uh, I'm not sure that they can go with the clear soft plastics to red cycle so we'll do some further checking on that but even if that went to landfill with the cups you've still got all this other stuff that should not be going to landfill now a little bit of interesting stuff at the front there was some ribbon um, which is some sort of plastic so definitely not recyclable uh, whether it can go with a soft plastic I'm not sure but again if we're unsure you're better off putting it in general waste it's only a small amount fridge magnets these are advertising fridge magnets I won't give the business on the other side a plug but they cannot be recycled certainly not in the normal curbside stream and some interesting bits here some keys now I do actually put keys in a jar and after a while it fills it up and it's quite a quirky little thing I can sell through the shop some people do craft with them uh, you could make sculptures out of them but 90% of keys are brass easy to check with a magnet and brass pays around about four dollars fifty a kilo so stack them up definitely don't throw them out uh, tea bags they probably shouldn't go in the green waste bin even though most people probably would the main reason there is that some bags do have a plastic fiber in the bags and I have done a test on those with my worm farm and I'll link that here so I don't put them in the worm farm either because of that microplastics so um, yeah the jury is still out on tea bags the companies need to get it right and not put microfibers in the bags or plastic microfibers so I'd put them in the red bin if you're unsure you're unlikely to contribute hugely to uh, to landfill with tea bags they're quite small uh, a pen all right um, definitely not in the general recycling bin there is a company called TerraCycle that collect pens and as this was a business bin you're likely to get a lot of pens I'd have a little box there and fill it up and eventually they can be recycled through that company little bits of plastic even though they may be the recyclable type anything less than the size of a credit card generally can't be sorted by the machines properly so that would probably best go to landfill as well and a key ring well looks like a Richmond Tigers supporter that'd go in the bin at my place actually I'd probably give it to my son or my brother they're both Richmond supporters but I'm certainly not so look I'll probably actually put that on my free trolley at the shop and someone will grab it so that's just a few quirky little things none of that should be thrown in the recycle bin um, definitely now the only other thing I'll think of to discuss here before I open those bags to see what's in them is a couple of containers at the front now rigid plastic containers like this this is marked number five PP which I don't remember what PP is might be polypropylene or something um, I think that sort of stuff can go in the recycle bin I need to find out more details on some of these things and that will be why I'll be doing a trip at some stage to the recycling facility but I would put that in the recycle bin now um, if it's no good they'll sort it at the factory and likewise this um, container it's a rigid plastic um, I don't know what it was 
some sort of plastic container might have been a cover off something might have been a step but look at that not sure but solid rigid plastic generally if it's clean i'll put it in the recycle bin and again i need to find out more about this this one has a, a rubberized type um, molding within it and it's kind of a soft rubber where the rest of it is a hard plastic so it's not a pure one type of plastic and i'd suggest it possibly would end up going to landfill if i threw it in my recycle bin um, the sorting at the facilities involves some uh, manual sorting and the rest of it mechanized i would say they would probably lob that into landfill but all the plain plastics the casings off things if you're doing e-waste you'll be pulling some stuff apart and i do put most of that in the recycle bin simply really because i haven't been told i can't and i do know that things like abs plastic which this modem cover is made from and it says it somewhere uh, there we go abs uh, i do know abs plastic is recyclable in fact most hard plastics are it's just a matter of getting them to the right facility uh, this is a chassis from a, a video player now it's marked ps which i think is polystyrene but it's not the expanded foam type like what i've got under here so i do believe and i have read that this is recyclable um, whereas well at least it is through the normal recycle schemes but i do need to find out more about that Whereas they say definitely do not put the expanded polystyrene in, mainly because even though it is recyclable, pieces break off very easily and they end up contaminating other loads of, of special plastics types. And the machinery can't pick up small pieces. So because that's quite brittle and it's going to break up, they recommend you do not put it in the recycle bin so it does have to go to landfill, at least with regards to people's domestic bins. Um, it can be recycled and the system really needs to be improved to help it all be recycled properly. All right, I'll be certainly doing more detail on some of these more uh, difficult pieces to work out down the track. But as far as domestic recycle bins go, paper, cardboard, bottles, newspaper, the tops off coffee cups, all that stuff's fine. I don't have any glass bottles here, but they're fine as well. The coffee cups are the biggest mistake that people make, I think, that cannot go in. And the bagged up material is a big mistake as well. And the soft plastics should go off to red cycle at the supermarkets. So to finish this video off, I'm going to unpack these plastic bags and see what's in them. All right, I've opened the contents of these two, uh, the two bags that were tied up. Uh, the contents here is really a bit of a moot point anyway, because um, as they were, they would have been picked up by the... Um, recycle truck and they would have been the bags would have been discarded as i've mentioned but i opened them up to see what was in them we have quite a lot of soft plastics that's all fine to go to red cycle including the um, postage bag uh, if you don't want to reuse them they are really tough plastic these things and i often reuse them because i do a bit of ebay work but the soft plastics can be recycled through red cycle uh, plastic bottles there's no troubles there although this one is still fairly full so what are your indoor plants before you tip your water out and put it in the bin because i'm sure that will cause a little bit of grief in the recycle process when bottles are still full or at least have contents a uh, big pile of paper in the middle envelopes that's fine um, the envelopes are okay with the window in the front uh, you could also feed them to your worm farm the worms will eat them all except the plastic uh, the lids off the coffee cups again are okay. There's another Kleenex box, or tissue box, I should say. Uh, so there was some general rubbish. Uh, the coffee cups again, as we've discussed. There's some wrappers here that uh, are foil type, and I don't think they can be recycled. Uh, some more of that copy paper, plastic lined stuff, which I need to find out about. And tissues. Don't put, please don't put tissues in your recycle bin. They can't be recycled. They they clog up the machinery. But also in today's current climate with the coronavirus, put them in the, you're probably best to have a worm farm and the worms can deal with them because they will be eaten up. But at least they'd have to go to general rubbish. Don't put them in the recycle bin where they'll be sorted through. Um, the other thing is food waste. A banana peel should not go in the recycle bin. Again, have a worm farm. Worms love bananas. 
uh, or else in the green waste organic bin. And this strapping also isn't a recyclable item. It's just going to tangle up machinery and cause grief. So um, there you go. There's there's a lot that can be done without getting too involved in all the weird types of plastics. There's a lot of basic general sorting that could be done and should be done by everyone. Uh, it really irks me that it's not hard to do and yet so many people either don't care or are too lazy or don't know and that's what I'm trying to help. Um, <clears throat> I think a big part of Australia's problem with recyclables and China having banned um, recyclables going over there a while back I think a big part of that was because it was just so poorly done if we presented a nice clean recyclable sample well sorted minimal contamination I'm sure not only would the bans not have happened or at least not to the same extent but there'd probably be a lot more Australian industry start up because if they get a good clean sample it reduces their overheads so everyone can do their bit the system still needs fixing, so we need to get it right. Uh, so hopefully this has been some help. Now, there's going to be lots of other stuff that people are going to ask. I've only covered a few things here, just what I found in this bin. Um, please ask any questions below, or if you have queries on can things be recycled, give me comments and I'll jot them all down. And when I do a trip to the recycle facility, I'll find out. Um, and we do need to get... We do all need to increase our knowledge... And it's an easy process when you know how. Um, don't stick your head in the sand and throw it in the bin and forget about it. Because our future really does depend on getting things right. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll uh, finish putting this in its respective spots. And um, have a practice next time you put your recycle bin out. And just check or check your neighbours without being rude. And just try and help everyone get the system right. See you next time.